In this Tech Talk, I'm speaking with Steve Allen, Director of Systems and Automation for Zeppelin Systems USA, and we are discussing Zeppelin's new Prisma 2020 technology. Hi, Steve. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, hello, Joni, and uh, thank you for the invite and giving me a chance to introduce our latest Prisma offering. Yeah, this is really exciting um, because it's the next generation of Prisma which is Zeppelin's flagship MES offering. Um, so I really am just excited to dive right in. So can you just sort of walk me through what this upgrade means for Prisma software? Sure. It's primarily, or it's both a technology and a feature upgrade for our flagship MES product, which we uh, normally include with all of our turnkey automated ingredient handling systems. And it's, it's developed on a more modern um, software platform and technology stack, it essentially resets the obsolescence clock, you know, for the uh, for the legacy Prisma system, uh, while retaining all the, the core functionality. And we've added some new features that we think our clients will be very interested in. So um, I know there's some really impressive real time data that comes with the PLC batching engine. That means performance dashboards are are really user friendly and can do some cool things. So how do those dashboards help a bakery operation do things like track performance, but also then take it sort of a step further and help improve performance in the operation? Yeah, this is a new feature that we've added uh, to Prisma 2020. And we, we chose the name 2020 because it suggests insight into your process. So let me give you an example of that. So with our performance dashboards, we allow the, the user to input um, a new data point for all their recipes. And we it's basically based on the mixer cycle time. It's its basically the best case scenario. What's If everything was working in a perfect world, how quickly could you complete a batch from beginning to end? So that's a data point. And then what we do in the, in the dashboards is actually track how long it's actually taking to complete batches uh, compared to those norms. And we, we, we track the actual batch complete time, but we also track the amount of time it took the Zeppelin ingredient batching system to be ready. So they're two very critical data points. So it lets um, a plant supervisor at a glance, all they can display all of the dashboards simultaneously and they can see at a glance how well their various mixers are performing, executing the recipes. It also has a historical feature. So you can go back and say, I want to compare the performance of whole wheat bread on this mixer to how I was doing in the last one, two, three years back, as long as you've been collecting data. And uh, where it's a big benefit for the end user is it's a, it's a very early warning system. If your system performance is beginning to degrade, it's a very good way of tracking that and lets you be proactive. And it also helps you identify the root cause. Is it the ingredient handling system or is it something else? Okay, so you said something that I think is really interesting, and that's that this can track back as far back as you have the data. So that means we're not talking about just as far back as when you installed Prisma 2020. Um, this is something that it, it goes back all the way to when you've been inputting data. So how simple is an upgrade for bakers who are currently using the Prisma system, but also are you saying that it can also work with other existing systems? Yeah, um, most definitely. It's um, it's an easy migration for our current legacy uh, Prisma users. In fact, we designed it intentionally that way. And our uh, anybody who upgrades uh, does not have to change their uh, database. So that means they can preserve all their uh, raw materials uh, list um, and, and the recipes, their formulas will import that and even their historical batch record. So uh, so those are the points that uh, once we can collect them as far back as our clients have preserved their um, batch records, we can import that and we can display that on Prisma 2020. And it is, um, it, it is compatible with most other PLC based batch engines out there. We just have to understand the differences between those other batching engines and the, and the Zeppelin batching engine. So this is really exciting because this, it, it feels like it, it truly is upgrading, not just this 
piece of technology, but it's helping bakers upgrade their operation so they can really dial it in and see how they've been performing over time and comparing it on a much better baseline. But also, if I'm understanding you correctly, you can compare um, uh, like from shift to shift or even maybe from line to line. Is that a fair assumption? That's absolutely correct. You could look at the same product being made over a 24 hour period on the same mixer and it would tell you visually, for example, which shift was performing best. If you see a line start to um, move up in time, it means for some reason the, the third shift is taking longer to, to make the batches than the, the first and second shift. It doesn't necessarily tell you why, but it will tell you that there's it takes more time uh, in a in a time frame, and you'd see that so clearly, so visually, just by looking at the actual batch completion time line compared to the baseline. That is so cool. So that kind of sparks another question for me, and um, I'm a, I'm have sort of a vision in my head because I've been in a bakery that used a, a Prisma system and it was super mobile compatible. So the baker was able to sort of walk through the operation with an iPad and could see what was what was going on. So what kind of mobile compatibility is Prisma 2020 equipped with? Yeah, so Prisma 2020 can be deployed on mobile devices such as tablets or, or even your cell phones using the client's existing wireless network. So imagine walking around the bakery and being able to monitor your critical process parameters of your batching system without you know the limitations of of uh, cables or the or the confines of your production office so it would it would allow um, a, a supervisor for example to walk over to uh, a mixer or, or a line that was um, uh, perhaps not performing up to the the baseline and then he can walk over in real time and and say um, I, I noticed we're running you know uh, 20 30 percent slower than we we normally are what's the issue and uh, it's just a uh, it just gives you more information, um, you know, handy without the, you know, the the confines of a production office anymore. Right. Yeah. So it's really um, not just the data that's available in real time, but it enables a baker to use mobile tools to address that data in real time. So the solution can be in real time too, as well, right? You can. The, uh, the, the, when the, the application is deployed on mobile devices, it's both read-write, so you can actually, it's actually configurable. And some, some of our customers want it just to be read-only, so they can you know, just monitor what's going on, but uh, it, it can be enabled so that you can actually change parameters. So you could actually make an adjustment to a recipe. You could, um, you could add or subtract you know, the number of batches from an active campaign, um, as long as you're within the uh, you know, range of the, the, the client's wireless network. It's awesome. Like that could be a game changer when it comes to troubleshooting um, a recipe and efficiency on the line too. Yes. And it's not only the Prisma application, but our, our systems are typically supplied with a SCADA graphics application, of course, which shows you in real time the animation. And, and that's where you can monitor other process critical parameters as well as alarming. So if you have an alarm situation, something is taking too long, you have a temperature issue, a pressure, maybe even a piece of equipment has failed, you can uh, carry that uh, tablet or cell phone around right to the device itself and, and identify you know, the, the, what the problem is. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that just leads me to one last question. And that is, what is the easiest way for a baker to either learn more or to get started? Yeah. So the, the best way is to request more information from Zeppelin by contacting us at info at zeppelin-usa.com. Or we, we have a, a strong presence on LinkedIn. If you just look for uh, Zeppelin systems on LinkedIn, either one of those will, will be able to uh, arrange a demo or just give you more information about Prisma 2020. Excellent. Well, Steve, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me about Prisma 2020. I think this is an incredible upgrade on an already uh, fantastic platform. So thanks for sharing this information with me. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.